We're going to new computer animation tutorial. This one by request of one of my YouTube subscribers looking for an animation tutorial on how to make a helicopter looking like it's got a couple rotating propellers flying across our stage here using a motion tween. So gonna jump right into it. Uh, I've already got a image of a helicopter that I used in my test animation and copied and pasted it into a layer here, called it the picture layer, um, then added a new layer with the new layer button gone ahead and called a graphic and then traced that image with the pen tool here as you can see so i've already got a little bit of the legwork started for this project if you want to see more information on how to use the pen tool to trace an image um, then refer to one of my uh, earlier tutorials either the bird flying or the space cat tutorials both have um, instructions on using the pen tool so uh, what we'll do is go ahead and take it from here um, I think I missed saying two at the beginning, size 550 by 400, 24 frames per second, standard. Um, when you go to file new, um, will work for this assignment. Uh, what we'll do now is we should have a picture layer and a graphic tracing, uh, just a raw graphic here. We're going to start from this point. I'm going to convert this to a symbol or a graphic rather, and we'll call it hello. Hilo, however you pronounce that. And then what I'm going to do is actually double click on my Hilo graphic and add a couple new layers in here. This is where we're going to add our propellers. So see how I still have the photo layer right in behind it? We want to keep that so we know where to put our propellers. So I'm going to call this layer one is the body. Layer two will have as the big propeller and layer three will have as the little propeller. So the um, propellers now we're going to take the ellipse tool here, um, oval tool, black outline, uh, fill color of just something light. It could be a gray, it could be a light blue, um, whatever works for your preference. I'm going to stretch this oval so it's about the size of where I see kind of the propeller going here. Um, maybe I'll make it just a little bit wider and move it back just a touch. That seems like it will be good. Um, so that works for a shape for the big propeller. Now on the little propeller layer, I'm gonna take my ellipse or oval tool again, click and drag to kind of make a oval here. That's about the same size as that propeller. Now you notice I need to do a little reordering of my layers. I want my big propeller to actually be behind the body of the helicopter and the little propeller to be on top. And then uh, one thing I am noticing is I'm missing kind of the piece here that connects the propeller to the, um, to the helicopter body. And so I'm going to go ahead and add that in really quick on the body layer here. I'm going to go ahead and click and create that line in there. Okay, so now I've got that. Um, the propeller looks like it's in pretty good position. Looks maybe a little bit off center though, so I might just take it and move it a little bit this way. That seems like it looks a little bit better for the size of the helicopter. Now what we're going to do is get into actually animating these to make it look like they're spinning. Um, so what we'll want to do is first we're going to convert this to a symbol, this time a movie clip. We're going to want these, the propellers, to be movie clips. We'll call this um, big. And then we'll go to the little one and we'll go ahead and convert that now as well. Convert to symbol and we'll call this lil. So uh, first starting with the big propeller, we'll double click. Oops. Double click on that. Now we're inside of the big propeller graphic. This is where we want to add a new layer and we'll call that motion. Okay, and that's where we're going to draw some movement lines. So what we're going to do is actually create a couple keyframes in here first. We'll go to the third frame. We'll hit F6 to create a new keyframe there. And then we'll go to the fifth frame here and hit F6 again to create a new keyframe there. Now what we'll do is go ahead and um, also actually, actually it'll be easier if we, we do these lines first um, in hindsight. So we'll take our pen, our pencil tool actually rather for this part, we'll turn on smooth 
lines for our pencil and go ahead a uh, stroke size of four will work for this um, we're going to draw some kind of movement lines here on the edges of the propeller now these can be a little on the rocky side they're going to be moving pretty quick and so hard to really see too much detail but um Oh, okay, so what I do need is, you'll notice if I go to my third frame here, this layer, the layer here with kind of my um, my ellipse on it, uh, this one is not present in this third frame. So I've got to go to my fifth frame here and insert a frame. That way uh, I don't lose it. So this bottom layer is just going to be kind of the propeller itself. These are just the motion lines. Maybe I'll even label this prop as well. Sometimes it's just good to keep track of your layers. Here I'm going to do the same thing I did on that first frame. So first frame had these lines here. Third frame, I'm just going to move them over a little bit to the right. So moving those a little bit over and then on the fifth frame now again, these will kind of be here and there. And so as you kind of scroll this back and forth, you'll see that kind of movement action that's being created by those lines. So what we're going to do on the prop layer actually is take this and we're going to change its fill to be a linear gradient. Okay, as you can see, I've already kind of got this set up. Actually, what I didn't want to do is for the, uh, the outline color to change. That is the wrong way for it to change. So what I want to change is the fill color here. So I'm going to click on my fill. Um, maybe I'll actually just select the fill in the center and then go to click linear gradient. Now I kind of have this gradient in here. So what you may see when you first open a gradient tool is probably something one color going to another. Let's make one of these colors black. If we pull down this color bar here all the way to the bottom, click in this corner, we'll get black, and the other corner white. So again, our color intensity bar here all the way to the top, and this top corner will get white. We're going to bring this white, or the black rather, to the center. If you click right underneath this bar here, you see I have a plus sign. We're going to add a new color right there, and again, we're going to turn this back to uh, white. So we want the two whites to be on the sides and the black in the center there. And we're just going to bring these in pretty close so that it kind of makes that look like it's kind of the helicopter bar or one of the propellers kind of going around in a circle. We'll make that pretty thin actually. So bring those pretty close together. That looks like it will work. Maybe even closer. Cool. Um, now what we're going to do is actually animate that spinning as well. So again, we're going to go ahead in this prop keyframe here on three, right in line with our other one, and we're going to use our gradient transform tool to just rotate this gradient a little bit. So I'm just going to take this circle here, turn and spin that so now it's at an angle. And then I'll just go ahead to the fifth frame, hit F6 again to create another new keyframe and then rotate that gradient once more. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Once more. So now it's at another angle there. So now if I move that all together, um, when that's playing at a high speed for 24 frames a second, it's going to create that illusion of a moving propeller. And there we go. When we kind of test it out, you see it a little bit better now. Um, so we're going to add one more effect to that propeller and then do the smaller propeller. So if I go back, right now we're inside of our big propeller graphic, or movie clip rather. We go back out to our helicopter. Now we're inside of the actual helicopter part, right? Now what I'll do is take this movie clip. Whenever you have a movie clip selected, you have some what are called filters over here. We're going to add a blur filter to this. See how that kind of just blurs everything a little bit? And I'm going to turn this up to, let's see, maybe like 9 seems like it looks pretty good. Now if I press Command Return to test this again, you see that it gets a little blurred, which is kind of nice. It works for um, kind of helping to show movement or motion. So now I'm going to go in and do the little propeller. We're going to leave out the whole gradient part. 
Um, and really what we're going to do here is just again make a new layer, call this motion. We're going to put in a couple new keyframes. So F6 on the third, F6 on the fifth, and then right on the fifth and layer one, we're just going to right click and go to insert frame. And again here we're just going to take our pencil tool and just draw a couple little lines in here. Oops, so my pencil is actually still on using a gradient, so that wasn't going to show up much. So make sure your pencil color is black. Again, these lines can be pretty rough. They don't need to be perfect. Um, and then again, here, these lines are going to go and move a little bit. And then on the fifth frame, one last time. And then we should have kind of that action going on with that propeller as well. So now I'm going back out to my helicopter graphic. I will add another blur filter to this uh, movie clip here. So again, filter, blur, and that's just going to add a little bit of blur action to that. It starts at four. We could go up, you know, as high as you like. Six seems to work pretty well for that small one. Um, maybe, let's see what I can do with this one. I don't want to go too high. You know, 9, 10 seems to be good for that. Cool. So now going back out to my scene. Now if I test this command and return, I should have pretty much most of the animating pretty much good. Now I'm just going to make a motion tween to make this actually move across our stage. So at this point now, we don't really need our reference image anymore. So we could trash that layer trash that and get it out. And now all we really have left here is this one image. Um, if we double click, we see our three layers, the little body and the big. Um, but we're just going to take this and go to our gradient transform, which should be where our free transform is also living. I'm going to just turn this guy down in size, and especially when we shrink the size, you're going to see that that blur kind of takes on a more of an effect. So I may need to adjust that a little bit more now that the size is reduced because it's going to the blur is going to be more intense. So um, what we want to do is now create a some motion here. So in order to create some motion I'm just going to go to maybe the 50th frame of my animation here, insert a blank frame, and then just going to right click and um, create a motion tween. So we add the motion in first and then we move uh, our object along its pathway. So every 10 frames or so what I'm going to do is just click on the 10th frame here, move my helicopter to where I'd like it to go by the 10th frame and you'll see that it connects a path behind it. So then go up to the 20th frame, maybe move my helicopter up, 30th frame and we'll say he comes back down and then maybe by my 40th frame he's gone off the side here um, and then it will loop back around what I can do is if I have click on the side here I have nothing selected and I go over my line actually with my selection tool here go over my line I can actually bend these lines too if I want him to go on a little bit different of a path and then we'll hit command and return and see how that goes and there we go. We got a kind of buzzing little flying helicopter going crazy out here. So um, you can also copy and paste this particular uh, movie clip graphic helicopter into other animations like we did in our looping backgrounds or our uh, globe animations, things like that, and add those to it. So um, I hope you have lots of luck and have fun creating your own flying helicopter animation.